Superman's journal, final entry. I'm dying. My turn. My cells are breaking down. I'm running out of time. Welcome to the new world. Lay down your weapons and you won't be hurt. They only have one chance to save the world. My last adventure is about to begin. You know what happens when you take on Lex Luthor? If I die, you die first! Did you ever think that it would end like this? We are Sovereign Cosmic Loyalty with Amnesia, searching the hallways of always for the budding sun that lays dormant beneath our tongues. Synchronicities can pronounce themselves in the strangest of places, the opening sequence of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie as an example. It seems that both Giza and New York City are depicted as cosmic tuning forks for the collective consciousness, which up well psychic imagery such as stargates, time travel, and keys to our forgotten origins. The superhero is the ancient god we invented as an object of aspiration, not veneration. Superhero is an evolutionary trigger pointing to a dangerous but yet inevitable future. Sirius, the dog or god star, is a resonator of the unnecessarily externalized creator being or ET force. Here in the Tenth Kingdom we see a dog, man's best friend, escape his captors through a wormhole which showcases the 9-11 towers on the horizon of space-time. With respect to uh, the dog, this is a major issue. This is a major issue. This is a major issue. Uh, I think it's generated more interest on uh, our website than just about anything. Obama, as many of you have already noticed, resonates the dog star as well, and even has some aesthetic similarities to the Egyptian pharaoh, Akhenaten. Lightning, or thunder flash, is celestial fire and the source of divine goodness. In Greek myth, it is a symbol of the creative powers of Zeus, and in Roman myths, a symbol for Jupiter. Here in the recent film Bolt, we see the god star chasing an ancient alien astronaut complete with his glowing green third eye. The helicopter, derived from the word Helios, or the personification of the sun, is then blown to pieces by a flying saucer explosive. The architects of the Hollow Earth Matrix and City of Embers may in fact be having their last supper. With an ambiguous extinction level event about to occur on the surface, they designed a city-sized bomb shelter in the shape of an octagonal sun disk. Within this Atmos prison and greenhouse lies the key to exit its carefully crafted walls. We see the double bolt in reverse conjuring the image of the Order Out of Chaos 33 Phoenix on the door of the underground city's generator. Their synthetic sun is failing due to two centuries of corrosion, but following the cues that hit at a broader spectrum of reality, just as Neo had in the Matrix, two chosen citizens discover the architect's intended secret documents to aid the people of Ember in repopulating the Earth's surface. Let the sun disk of time space be the people's saving grace. The Green Lantern Corps is an interstellar Masonic Brotherhood whose symbol resonates the green sun of the alien god Ra. Green Lantern is the Apollonian counterpart to the Hermetic Flash. In the highly subversive cartoon version of the Justice League, the ancient theology of the Horus cult is made palatable for school children. Alien birdmen descend to a primitive planet and build a utopia. Here in the Dark Knight, we see the Joker set a pyramid of money on fire, and what is money but crystallized or stored energy just as our sun? Aten, the sun or solar disk, which was the deity of the monotheistic cult under the pharaoh Akhenaten and Barack Obama lookalike, or also Aten, the actual solar globe in the sky, as opposed to Ray, the sun in your mind that is consciousness. 
In the film 300, Xerxes, the illuminated puppet master, descends his human step pyramid framed by golden calves and lions, reminiscent of Yakin and Boaz, the two copper pillars which stood in the porch of Solomon's temple. Broken glass symbolizes piercing the veil of consciousness. Failing to break the glass, as our little friend Bolt here, is characteristic of an as-yet-to-be-evolved character story. Hawkman was originally the reincarnation of an Egyptian prince and later an alien policeman. Both archetypes are consonant with Freemasonry, itself descended from Egypt. Obama is the first comic book nerd to ascend to the White House and hasn't been shy about appropriating the iconography of the new gods. He compares himself to Superman, the alien god from Krypton. Superman's dog Krypto takes his name from Kryptos, the Greek word meaning hidden or occult. The winged or horned disc is certainly not resigned to ancient Egypt alone. It is highly prevalent in Masonic architecture, the Mayan calendar, a symbolic interpretation for the giant red storm on Jupiter. The chariot of the gods are UFO saucer craft, and the most curious of all, President Barack Obama's River of Blood winged disc he's been using as his logo. Some also correlate the alleged 10th planet, Nibiru, or also Lucifer, to this symbol. Obama is the president who will take crystallized or sun energy known as currency and try to resurrect it. Some feel he is paving the way for the next sun god and Hitler admirer, Schwarzenegger, whose character's name was Matrix in Commando, to become our 2012 president. He would embody the illusory concept of walls being brought down, a foreigner engineering a new world order through a perceived golden age. Schwarzenegger resonates the 9-11 mega ritual as well as time travel here in Terminator 2, as the words caution 9-11 can be read clearly as he escapes with the Christ or JC John Connor. The Zeus bolt can be seen yet again in the symbolism rich video game Fallout 3. The story takes place in the year 2277 in the post-nuclear war, and places the player in the role of an inhabitant of Vault 101, the same number as Neo's apartment in the Matrix. Most of the world lives in survival shelters which have a solar disk designed door similar to the architectural floor plan of the city of Ember. There is strong serious dog symbolism throughout the game, especially during the Tranquility Lane sequence. When your father, the god of your world, is transformed into a dog, Tranquility Lane is in every sense a matrix or a hologram within a hologram. It's designed to simulate a 1950s Pleasantville or Superman resonating Smallville type atmosphere and it's up to your character to uncover the program's core sequence or vibration to awaken from the illusion. When the escapees of the city of Ember finally reach the surface world, they see a large moth flying into the chasm towards their old homeworld. This winged icon or symbol of freedom is akin to the white rabbit, except it's showing you how to escape the rabbit hole instead of how deep it may go. These birds of paradise take on many forms and can be seen in such films as The Island, where they help Ewan McGregor question the validity of his reality in Journey to the Center of the Earth, where they lead Brendan Fraser and company to the Hollow Earth, and in the curious case of Benjamin Button, representing the release of the soul during the death sequence. On a deeper level, these free birds are the guides of consciousness. They lift us up when we're falling into the abyss, and they show us just how much there is to explore. They are the humblers of the soul, and they soar on winds of dreams. The night has a thousand eyes, and the day but one. But the light of the whole world dies when the day is done. From an alchemical perspective, birds are depicted as mediators between the earthly realm and the heavenly world. The alchemist is observing the flight of birds, recognized in them a picture of the human soul undergoing spiritual development. Prote told me to find the blue bird of happiness. Prote told you? It's a task. First of three. The alchemist is observing the flight of birds, recognized in them a picture of the human soul undergoing spiritual development. The soul, aspiring upwards, flying free of the restraints of the earthbound body, seeking the heavenly light, only to have to return to the earthly consciousness again after the meditation. The NBC peacock is a rising sun. There are two sets of three rays. Should that be the full sun, there would be four sets of three rays, each set representing a season, each ray representing a month. Kevin Spacey communicates with a dog or god star in his role as an alien traveler in k -Pax. Keanu Reeves, the notorious holographic escapee, plays in a band called Dog Star. Gozer guards the gateway to an alternate universe in Ghostbusters, and Sarah Palin's campaign song by Heart bears album artwork which presents very relevant dog butterfly symbolism. The connections, as you see, are endless. I am merely a piecer of puzzles. You can even see serious Egypt connections on Family Guy. 
In a recent Red Eyes interview, Jake pointed out that Jim Carrey resonates to Dog Star as well. As a falling star, Green Lantern Light with the word Sirius written on the side nearly crushes him on The Truman Show. He and his pal Harry drive around a huge dog pickup truck in the film Dumb and Dumber, and he has a Dog Star companion in both The Mask and The Grinch films. The chronophage, or corpus clot, plays tricks on the observer, seemingly occasionally to pause, run unevenly, and even go backwards using trickery of light. A female underage in a motel by the Dallas Police Department on September 11th. On September 11th. It features a reptilian time eater munching away at the fabric of the continuum. This oddly parallels the magical clock in Benjamin Button that was built to run backwards and imbued Brad Pitt with the ability to grow younger instead of the usual. The timelessness of transformation is always viewed from the eye of the beholder. What matters is that we embrace this butterfly effect in search of aeons like